Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy P-Lot, a.k.a. The Brick Slinger. And guess what? Your boy got something to say. I hope y'all had enjoyed uh, your Christmas, your holidays, and all that good stuff. So, salute and all that. So, let's get to the point. I know a lot of y'all have heard about and probably seen pictures and videos dealing with the whole Megan Good and Devon Franklin's voice and and uh, what's the what's the whole purpose and this, that, and the third, whether it's um, her not wanting to have kids or her choosing to do this show Harlem. Here's my thing. Um, it was obvious that this was not going to be a, a solid marriage in the eyes of the public, and especially when you're dealing with a couple that is trying to follow, you know, Christianity uh, doctrine in a way. However, I don't believe that they was into the Bible all the way through because court, based on what I'm seeing, they were already was not showing enough uh, Christian everything. And I do mean enough. For instance, when. Um, when a woman was going was practically gave a constructive criticism to Megan Good in front of Devon were basically like, look, you know, you you were a man of the cloth. You know, you know what I'm saying? You need to uh, be modest with the things you wear, so cover up. And he was like, nah, she can wear whatever she want in the name of Jesus. And it's like, wait a minute. What do you mean she can wear what she want to wear in the name of Jesus? Even Jesus was about modesty. I mean, there. even if you may say, well, Jesus don't bring up modesty in the gospel and none of this stuff. It's like if you read the whole Bible, keep this in mind. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Scroll down a little bit more. The word became flesh. Who's this word we're talking about? Jesus. To say that she can wear whatever she want to wear in the name of Jesus is a. It's just bad. It's it's so many words that can go along with this, but it's bad. And for him to defend that. He basically defending. Uh. A woman that can easily, a woman that can easily uh, distract a man. Megan Good is a beautiful woman. There's no doubt about it. There's no denying that. But when you're a, uh, but when she, when she is a, she became a wife of a well-known Christian, uh, Christian man who is also a movie producer as well as an author. It's like you have to follow suit. You have to follow suit in the Christian joint, which means a man should be in a certain way and a woman should be in a certain way. And then we fast forward into now where she's on a show called Harlem and she playing a character that pushes the women can do whatever they want to do, especially in a black community. A woman can be as equal as a man and do this, that, and the third. And it's like, understand, I, ne I, didn't, I never watched the, watched the show. But I've seen clips and usually that's not the case. However, even I had a feeling that she wasn't with that divine when made the decision 
to do show do a show like that. Because according to the source, uh, they've been separate since August of two of this year. And people have been wondering why we never seen them because we all seen them together because usually within the nine years they've been together, they have always been together. You were, it's like uh, Devon Franklin would do videos and usually the videos he's praying. And every now and then you'll see Megan behind him praying with him. So at this point, now that they're divorced, Many people are going to wonder, why are they divorced? I thought Christian folks don't divorce. And if they do divorce, why are they divorcing based upon unreconciled situations? Why, why, why not she's committing sexual immorality? She cheated on them, commit adultery, whatever the case may be. You telling me that he filed for divorce, although statistically, out of majority of divorce, eight out of nine, eight out of eighty percent of marriage being filed, eighty percent of divorce are being filed by women. Whatever the case may be, I don't know, but majority of divorce are filed by women. So why is he filing for divorce? It's obvious she's de she did something that did not fall in place, didn't fall in line. Thus, this show, Harlem, because this doesn't display a Christian woman. This show does not display a Christian woman. You would think that Megan Good would pick a, do a show that would help display a Christian black woman in a in a in a in a better light, but she chose something else. And apparently, within the nine years, you would think that a man that defends her on what she were would have been like, "Hey, uh, this is not a good idea." And if that was the case with this divorce, then in some degree, I understand why they divorced. But what I don't understand is why now? Why now the divorce? Why when they could have been taken care of year one or year two, maybe year three, maybe before the engagement, maybe before the dating? Because within the marriage, see, they met. With them doing um jumping the broom within the marriage, we only seen her in one two good good movies. Think like a man and think like a man too. She may have done other works, but none of them are acknowledgeable as those two franchise movies. So why all of a sudden she goes from there to displaying a show? I can probably imagine them having a conversation and be like, nope, don't do this show. Why not? This show doesn't represent you. Not only does it represent you, it doesn't represent what a Christian woman is or what a wife is. This is a total opposite of what you are, which is a wife of a, a not only a music movie producer, not only an author, but a pastor. We can talk about what he preached about, what he preached about, whether it's biblical or unbiblical. But the fact that he's a pastor, matter, despite the fact that he is a uh, a chaplain, she, it's obvious that she forgot who she married to. And if she wants this freedom, then by all means, but it's going to cost her. Now, even though he filed for divorce, until until it is finalized, she is still his wife legally. And there may be a moment where they may not be divorced. They just have 
a situation that needs to be aired out. Even though they got on their own platform and like, hey, at this point, we just going to part ways. And hopefully it's, that's the case. Otherwise, we just going to have to see. We just going to have to see what's going to happen next. However, at the end of the day, what is the lesson to learn? Lesson to learn. Uh, ladies, when you marry a man of God, you're representing the man of God. Because he his head has to be his head has to be of God. Um, has to be Christ, not you. And there's no there's no such thing as a two headed marriage. Once somebody has to lead, somebody has to follow. Man gonna follow Christ. You you as a wife follow the husband. You can't be going out displaying something that is the total opposite of what you're what you claim to stand by. Because if you claim in Christianity, there's some things you need to avoid. Yes, it's hard to do. But if you represent Christ, you just can't be doing what you want to do and still claiming to be Christian. Because first John will basically be that uh that filter test. That test to determine whether or not you really are or really are not. And that's just the ladies, men. You're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to be careful defending what is right and what's wrong. You're going to have to be careful defending um, your wife. If you plan on marrying a woman and she want to be a, and if she wants to be a woman of the woman of faith, you're going to have to be be an example for her because she's going to represent you. Just as much as you're going to be representing Christ. So if she falls out in line, that puts you in an awkward position. Because according to scripture, you got to cover, you can't cover your head, which is Christ. And at the same time, she can't uncover her head, which is you, the husband. At the end of the day, as people of Christ, that we claiming Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Women can't be doing what they want to do when they marry. And men should not allow everything to be done in the, in the covenant. Because they have both agreed upon sickness and health to death do us part. Y'all agreed upon the ups and downs, even when disagreements. And if you're going to divorce somebody, divorce them for the right biblical reason. Otherwise, yeah, I got married just to just to say I'm married. Which makes divorce more uh, more of a wise decision to do, because ain't nobody should be getting married based upon it just for a title. Just for the benefit, you got to go through it all. But. I don't know, man. That's just me. If you like the video, dislike the video. There's a dislike button. There's a like button. Feel free to comment. I mean, we can disagree all day, but as long as we're not disrespectful, it's all good. Subscribe. Share this video. Let's continue the conversation. And who knows? We may end up doing it live. Until then, it's your boy P-Lot, a.k.a. The Brick Slinger. And as always... Continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers.